Welcome to Structure of English. To learn about the structure of English, you need to understand the language through analyzing its words and sentences. Let us start from word formation. Word formation by adding affixes. There are two ways of forming words by adding affixes. First is derivational. It is called derivational when you add an affix to a word and the word changes from a certain kind to another or its function changes. For example, cold to coldness. Cold is an adjective. Coldness is a noun. Beauty to beautiful. Beauty is a noun. Beautiful is an adjective. Happy to happiness. Happy is an adjective. Happiness is a noun. Fear to fearless. Fear is a noun. Fearless is an adjective. Pure to purify. Pure is an adjective. Purify is a verb. Person to personalize. Person is a noun. Personalize is a verb. It is also called derivational when the affix that you add to a word carries its own meaning. For example, Mature to immature. Im means opposite. Play to replay. Re means again. Power to powerful. Full means full of. Honest to dishonest. This means opposite. The second way of forming word by adding affixes is termed inflectional. It is called inflectional when the word added with an affix change not only its form but also its tense or number. Here are the examples for verb tenses. The verb play plus s is place. Place is in present singular. Play plus ing is playing. Playing is in present progressive. Play plus ed is played. Played is in simple past. Take plus en is taken. Taken is in past participle. Here are the examples for number of nouns. The plural of hat is hats, that is with s. The plural of tomato is tomatoes, that is with es. The plural of ox is oxen, that is with en. Words can be formed by adding or changing derivational or inflectional affixes. And those are just a few of the ways how to analyze a word structure.